I'm going to show you how to properly set up your song on jamstudio.com. It'll save you time, make songwriting easier, and it'll help you get to the end result much faster. I'll walk you through the process of creating a simple song I made for one of my videos. First, I found this synth called Flowing 3 that I liked a lot. You can click preview mode to hear the sound that you've selected at any chord you want. I thought C was too low for my song and A was too high, but I really liked F sharp minor and in clicking around I found that I liked the transition from F sharp minor to G. So you deselect preview mode to enter the chords into the score panel. Now we're going to make the bulk of our song on the first page of the mixer window. This will save us a lot of time because we don't have to recreate our mixer window again and again for each page. I'm going to change the guitar classic to back home. Notice that page 2 has changed to back home as well as 3, 4, and 5. Any mixer window changes to page 1 will apply to all pages unless that sound has previously been edited on another page. What I mean by that is the drums default is sit back. If I change page 2's drums to crashing, page 3 and page 4 4 and page 5 are still sit back. Changing page 2 only changed page 2. If I change the drums on page 1 to poppy, page 2 is still crashing, but page 3, 4, and 5 drums are now poppy. As you can see here, I've changed the sounds in the mixer window to how I want my song. Now I don't have to change every sound on every page, they've been changed for me. Now back up to the score panel. So far I have F minor and G and they sound great together but you might not know what to do from here. This is what we call the quick chords. These chords are all in the same key. That means they all sound good together. I want to know what sounds good with F sharp minor and G but they're not in that list. Just click these buttons and cycle through the different keys until you come to one with your chords in it. To do this, you might need to know what sharps and flats mean. This is similar to future tense and past tense, like I ran a marathon or I will run a marathon. You're saying the same thing, just specifying when it's happening. F sharp is the note after F. F sharp is also G flat, it's the same note, uh, but G flat is specifying the note before G. A sharp symbol is a number sign and a flat symbol is a lowercase b. I'll change the key to A flat and you'll see that F sharp is now G flat. So now I know what I'm looking for, an F sharp minor or a G flat minor and a G in the same key. The key of A has an F sharp minor but no G, so I have to keep looking. Oh, there we are, the key of D has an F sharp minor and a G. Now I know what chords will sound good with the song I've started. Finding chords in the quick chords is fast and much easier than hunting for chords that sound okay with each other. And since every page has been changed on my mixer window, it's easy to finish the rest of my song, which I'm going to do real, here real fast. I'm going to put in my pages, uh, drums and synth on page one, the bass come in on page two, and add a piano on page three, and add an electric guitar and drums on page four with only F sharp minor and on page 5 I'll have the synth play on the G and then I'll switch them back and forth between 4, 5, 4, 5. That didn't take long at all. If you set up your songs this way from the start you'll never have to hunt and peck for those sounds that you have on a previous page and when your chords are all in the same key it's much easier to sing along with. If you have any questions or video ideas email me at clintjamstudio.com